So, let me catch you up and tell you what's going on. Went on a little run and I got pulled over. Well, I seen the cop, I seen him behind me. And you know, he was doing what he was supposed to do. You know, patrolling, keeping everybody safe and all that. So, what happened is, I was with my coworker, we was together. So when we seen him in my rear, she was like, oh Lord, I hope you don't pull us over. And I was like, well, it don't matter because my, my vehicle is good. Everything is cool. There's, there's no issue. So we was going to McDonald's. So I turned on my indicator and I pulled into McDonald's. As I was pulling into McDonald's, that's when he turned his lights on and he flashed me and pulled me over. So, and he said, oh, before he came over to me, he was like, I shut the engine off immediately, shut the engine off. I put the keys on the dash. And I took my wallet out of my out of my pocket, and then I wind down the window, and then I went ahead and this is this right here. And then I went ahead and threw my hands out the window. Threw my hands out the window and held my wallet and my hands together like this. So when he came over to me, he was like, well, first of all, I just want to thank you um, for making me feel safe. I appreciate that. Do you know why I pulled you over? I says, no, sir, I, I don't know why. He said, your brake lights are out. So I'm like, what? No way. Nah, nah, that's, that's, that's campy. I just took it to Jiffy Lube several days ago and there was no issue. So he was like, no, I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. I wouldn't pull you over, you know, for no other reason. You know, I'm not making it up. So I says, wow. Did you think ain't saying nothing? I said, nah. This, this must have just happened because I've been driving up and down all this time. And I haven't been stopped. So this must have really just happened. He said, okay, well, you have your license with you? I said, yes. So I gave him the license. It was in my wallet. Right here, I'm just changing my just changing the light. And so anyway, he's like, okay. So he he made a you know he did what he did. He made his call back to base. And he, they checked my license. And everything was cool. So it came back, everything is cool with me. You know what I mean? Look. I'm clean. My license is clean. I don't do drugs. I don't sell drugs. I ain't no pimp. Me not sell my body neither. Me not in them thing there. So, I'm not out here running from child support. None of that. So, that's his stuff. So he was telling me how, so he said to my coworker, he's like, oh man, would you like to come out and take a look and see, you know, to see that I'm not lying? He's like, you know, he's like, I'm just, I'm out here listening to a sermon. I said, oh, okay. So she jumped out, she checked. I stepped on the brakes a couple of times. She's like, no, I ain't telling the truth. It ain't working. So I was like, wow, that's crazy. I said, okay, so he said, here's what. You know, you two look like you're just out, just having a good time, having a nice day today. I'm not going to issue a ticket, okay? But you got to get it done because 
somebody could have ran into your back and it would have been your fault. Oops. I knew it was that. So I said, you're right, you're right, officer. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. So I said, by the way, you said you listened to a sermon? He said, yeah. I said, oh, what you listening to? He said, oh, I just listened to a Christian program from this local pastor because the churches are closed out here. All the churches are closed. Listen. Your governor, yo, Cali, what if we stop it? Open up the church and make God people come together and worship and serve. You can't stop God's church. It don't belong to you. It don't belong to you, Cali. It's God's church. It's God's people. And the people that want to worship God and serve God. So, look, here's the takeaway, okay? I want, I want all of you young black men, young black women, if you ever get pulled over, first thing is first. It's all about your disposition. You know you ain't riding around dirty. You don't need to get all panic and anxious and jump, feeling all fraught. You understand? Because the cop is right. He's just doing the right thing. He's telling me the right thing. I didn't know it was, it was it was blown. Somebody really could have ran into my back. Hold on. Yeah, somebody really could have ran into my back. And he's right. They would have said, hey, we didn't know he was breaking. There was nothing indicating that he was going to do that. And that's true. And I didn't know that. So, that's how that went. That's how that went then. Right? So, I thank God that that was brought to my attention. Especially, you know, these people out here drive pretty fast. They drive pretty aggressive. Kind of remind me of New Yorkers. I should know because I used to live in New York. So, very similar to New York Drive. And he was very kind to, to, to you know, give me a break there. Because he didn't have to, but he did. And so I give God thanks for that. Glorify God for that. I'll take out this one. tell you here's what I did right so we was already at McDonald's because that's where I pulled over at it wasn't gonna be one of those situations that happened several months ago with that other young man um, I hope that his family are doing, doing better today and, and, and you know if, you know I pray that God still comforts them and in, in, in their in their grieving of losing their loved one but I wasn't gonna and I was not gonna end up like that you know I was not gonna give a reason for guns to be drawn and me to be running. What's I not to be running for? I was in the wrong, my light was out. But at the same time, there's no reason to be giving these police officers no attitude. It's all about your disposition. It's all about your, your, your you know, your attitude, man. There's no need for that. There's no need for that. And even if I did get the ticket, yeah, I wouldn't have liked it, because that's money. You know, that I gotta take out of my hard working self and pay. But I would have paid it. I would have taken it. And I would have just took that on the chin. As simple as that. 
So here I am at AutoZone, changing these bulbs so that I'm riding around clean out here in, in Long Beach, Cali. They said there will be no to live and die in LA. No, we ain't going through that. Whenever I come yourself here, you get locked up. Whenever I come yourself here, you if you go out, jail. Right? Because when you shot I go out jail, me no empty no piece peel. No. <laughs> anyway, so let's see what we got here. Alright, just put in the two bulbs. Now I'm about to check. We just <clears throat> let me ask this young lady if she can let me know if they're working or not. <clears throat> hey. How you doing, sweetheart? Can you please let me know if my brakes is on? All right. side is out. Um, I'm gonna need y'all to tell me if, if it's working. <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to tell me if it's working. Alright, so I'm gonna let y'all take a look at it. Y'all let me know if it's working. This is where I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on the brake. This is what y'all looking for. Y'all looking to see if this light turn on, alright? So we're gonna find out. We're about to find out. Now I'm gonna tap on it. When I get back. Let me know. to find out. I'm gonna cut out from here. This is where the video went, but remember what I said, man. It's all about your disposition. Just respect the law, respect these officers. They want to go home to their loved ones and their families too. All right, are there some crooked cops? Yes. Are there some germs out here? Yes. But you can still have the freedom and still have your life. It's all about your disposition. So, after he left, went on to continue order the food at McDonald's. We got the food. I pulled over, and I just prayed for him. You know what I mean? I, I prayed for this officer. I thank God that everything worked out. God, you know, just just had his hands on our lives, and there was favor, and there was no issue. I pray for him, I pray for his family, his, his loved ones, his house, and so just praise God. Alright, that's it. I gotta, I'm gonna run back this video to see if this light did work. I ain't got nobody outside here to let me know. I should have drove off. Later. Oh! <laughs> Continue to live on purpose. God did purpose. Kaboom! So, it was not what I said it was. It was something else. The fuse was blown. That's what the issue was. So, I'm going to take care of that right now.